the best thing I want to say without trying to bait you up is how did you kind of do it? Because again, I know there's busy people online. Yeah, yeah. I saw the tweet saying, oh, he's not meant to be using it because yeah, technically yeah. you're not meant to be using a recording device and yeah. all of that sort of stuff. And you're not allowed to mic up referees, even though I see it everywhere now. So how did he kind of get into that side of things, the technical side of things? So the technical side of things, you know, technology is a beautiful thing nowadays. Yeah. So, um, you know, when you've got AI, audio isolation and all that sort of stuff, you know, yeah. uh, you can get around stuff. But I think like the inspiration for me initially, I saw this like, four or five years ago it wasn't even football it was street basketball in america there's this uh, yeah. there's two accounts there's one guy called nick briz and there's another guy called Devonte frieger and that's where i got the idea of capturing what people say on the pitch yeah because like that adds a different element to the game like it's all good and well you know nice passing nice finishing skills and all that stuff but then the chat is like a whole difference, you know. Yeah, that's, that's the commentary in itself. Like, you don't need even need to commentate on it because you're just hearing even like the heavy breathing leading up to the yeah. goal. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done a loads of mic up session. I'm like, bro, you breathe like you're out. You're like, you're, oh yeah, you, you're about to die. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Um, but yeah, that's all that sort of stuff. So that's that was where the initial inspiration came from. Then I was like, I've got to figure out a way to be able to do this here for football, and I. You know, we, I tried different things and this was like way before we started content creation. I tried different things in like indoor five-a-side games just to try like, tech, like the technical side of things. And then I started seeing the likes of the guys at Baitees doing great stuff with their content. And I thought, um, if, I don't, if I don't crack on quickly, I might miss the boat with this. Yeah. And um, so then I just thought, screw it, let's just try and get it out there. And um, yeah, I think we just uh, maneuver around the technicalities, but in terms of like laws of the game, it's popping up everywhere now. Like it's not just myself that does my type of content. Like yeah. you, you're seeing it everywhere. Like uh, there's another guy, George Plank, um, he's a manager and he does the same sort of content. Again, his stuff is flying too. So it's like people want to see that element of the game and Obviously, I'm not, you know, drawing out the FA or anything like that. You know, these guys are the lawmakers of the game and without rules, you don't have a game and it's chaos. I, like, I get that. But one thing I think at times the game is guilty of is not adapting to the times. Yeah. Like the game now is different to the game 50 years ago, but you, the changes in laws or the changes in rules aren't like progressing as much as you'd like to yeah and i think the stuff that i do and others in the sphere as well it's only good for grassroots football of like course. the amount of comments that i get like don't get me wrong i get so much hate and you know trolls in the comments and all that but that's part and parcel but the amount of comments that i get where people are like i got back into sunday league or i want to get back into sunday league because of this do you know what i mean and sunday league or grassroots football over the past like couple of years has been petering off a bit it's been yeah. dying i think that's maybe down to covid we had you know those two seasons where we started then we stopped and then when we got back to it people were just like i just want to meet up with friends now now that i'm allowed to do you know what i mean yeah, and then football yeah, yeah. kind of took a, a back seat yeah um, and the commitment levels just dropped you know, off the face of the earth too. Yeah. So I think the type of content that I do and others in, in, the, in the area, in social media, it's only good for the game. Like I had Usain Bolt, like one of my reels before. Nah. Do you know what I mean? Like we're talking the fastest man in the history <laughs> of the world. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's watched Bedfordshire County football. Like in what, in what world would that ever happen? Do That's you know mental. what I mean? So like, I think it's good for the game. I think it promotes the game. Do we overstep the mark sometimes? Maybe, but you know, the the line is there to be teased at. Yeah, and then, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? And then if we've clocked that, we've crossed it a bit. Okay, cool. We'll we'll reel it back in. Do you know what I mean? But yeah. So what do you use in terms of equipment? How's the setup? You do it with someone else. So obviously you're not filming yourself. So someone else films for you. Yeah. Talk me through that whole process. So I've got a guy, uh, a guy in the chair, shout out to Bilal. Honestly, what a guy. When I first started this journey, I put something out on my Instagram. I said, you know, I'm looking for a videographer. Basically somebody who will come along for the ride. Uh, I can't promise massive payment or whatever, yeah. early doors, but just know if you buy into the project, then you're, you're part of the journey, basically. Yeah. I had a few people 
you know, a message back saying, these are my rates and rightly so, you know, you're going to put work in, you got, you got to charge the money. Uh, yeah. But Bilal messaged me and he just said, look, you might be onto something here. I'm happy to do the first couple games like scot free, just so like we understand how each other works and yeah. how the process will work and all of that stuff. And like, he just got it from the word go. Like, so he comes to every game, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so Saturday afternoon, Sunday mornings, he films a game for me on the sidelines, does 80% of the editing. I'll, I'll chime in with, with some of the editing too. And then, yeah, like that's, that's how it's worked since then. It's, um, Sick. And, it, and it works well. Nice, it's working yeah, very well, it's man. There. And what, so, so, what type of mics do you use? These, these type of mics? So or? we use DJI. DJI? Yeah, yeah microphones. Um, shout out DJI, working on the sponsorship, but uh, we'll get Come there on. one day. Come <laughs> on. But yeah, so um, it's an intricate setup. I don't want to reveal too much, you okay. know what I mean? But um, otherwise you'll end up with too many of me on, on the internet. And nah, listen, that'll be, a, be, that'll be, be a terrible <laughs> thing. One is bad enough. <laughs> they yeah? can't be too many of you, don't <laughs> worry. Listen, what I've learned over the, over the years is like, you are unique in it in yourself. Yeah, Even yeah. if someone should try to do what you're trying to do, they can't be someone that replicates you, man. No, no, so, I, I, I appreciate that. You're a one of one. Yeah, 100%, 100%. <laughs> I don't think you'd find anyone as um, bog standard and jarring as me, to be honest with you. So, uh, <laughs> bog standard and jarring. <laughs> what, a, what a compliment to yourself. Trust me, but nah. <laughs> yeah, man, I think we're getting there in terms of the content as well. Like, we recently branched out onto YouTube yeah, too. Yeah, I see. And again, it's all just a figuring out process. So half of it is just throwing stuff at a wall and seeing what sticks yeah uh, what works what doesn't because there's no like manual to this stuff you all know do yeah. you know what i mean you just have to test the waters with different things and see, see what works see what people like see what they don't and give them more of what they like but not too much of it as well because then you don't want to just be samey samey and yeah. all of that stuff like i know people like to see the handbags and the pushing and shoving and getting in each other's faces and all that but if every upload was that then you know, two months down the line, people will be like, all right, yeah, cool, on to the next one. So yeah. we try to keep it fresh and we keep people on their toes with it all, but. Okay, I was gonna ask you, in fact, your latest upload, obviously the, the game that you played where, you know, you went against that team. Did you really have to commentate over that or was there like an agreement to take out the, the audio? Or was that on the YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So honestly, we had, um, we did have like audio issues. So if you notice like the TikTok and the reel that I uploaded, yeah the audio is so like tinny and crackly and like it's just I had to turn it like up so much just so you could hear me um, and then to have that for like a whole 10 minute upload for YouTube I think it would have been a bit like because at some points we couldn't capture anything on the audio so we just and it was across the Saturday and the Sunday game as well We've, we fixed that little hiccup so the most recent games are all good but yeah, we just thought we'd cut our losses and voice over it. And again, it's, it's another opportunity to try another form of content, see, see how people respond to it, if they like it or not. Because if the FA do start cracking down hard and decide that it's time to shut things down, then, you know, we've got to look at different avenues yeah. and, and try other things out. So, um, Have yeah. they been on to you yet? Have they said anything yet? Not recently, no. I think I'm quite within the laws of the game. Yeah. How I've, uh, you know, responded to them. And since I've responded to them, it's been all good. I think. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I don't think it's more about the laws of the game. I think it's about refereeing. Yeah. And because um, they probably don't want conver certain conversations to be revealed, even yeah. though you know people have a right to do that because it's something could be said, which you know if there's no evidence of it, then you know you can't use it. So I think it's a good thing. I also agree that referees should have it. Mate, I think... Do you know what I mean? For their own safety. So there's, I don't know if you've seen it, there's this, a page, I think it's called North York League. Yeah. From Canada. Yeah. yeah. And there's one referee on there. I would love that guy to ref our games because yeah. he just sticks it on players, says it how it is. And it's like, someone like me who talks a lot throughout the whole game and like, I'll test the waters with a referee. And like, I've been playing in Bedfordshire for the best part of 15, nearly 16 years now. So I know the majority of referees in the game. Yeah. So I know what referees will take what and like how far you can go with a ref. And sometimes, you know, you heat at the moment, you overstep the mark and a ref will put you in your place quite rightly. Yeah? Um, <laughs> but, I, but I would love to play, you know, with that ref running a game. Because if he puts you in your place, then damn straight as well. Like that, that's, <laughs> that's part of the game too. Do you know what I mean? But I do think like, and hopefully by the time that I do get there, the sidestep 
once the legs fully give in, because they're on the way to giving in, but not quite yet. I still got a couple years left. But once they fully give in, I do want to take a sidestep into refereeing. Oh, and yeah. I do want to um, do the content in refereeing and the same, exactly the same content as well. Uh, because I think, if anything, again, it brings more eyes onto the game and it's more discussion, you know, people talk about these things. I think if, if you look at the, the elite level of the game, the pro level of the game, I don't know why in football we still don't have, you know, referees mic'd up and we can't hear refs. It's a, it's a normal thing in rugby and you get to hear the decision process. And I know after the game, PGMOL, you know, they release certain bits of what they want you to hear exactly. and all of that. But like, I'd love to hear the whole game. Like, why can't we just run the whole game and we just hear what's, what's going on? Because they're probably worried that they're clamouring in the background, like, oh, what decision this do we make? This is it, uh, this is it. Like, and I notice a lot of things as well, like uh, with VAR, I'll take a quick like segue. With VAR, that Declan Rice red card the other day, cool, he kicks the ball away, I've got no issues with that. Fine, it's a red card. But how the assistant VAR is like, he's kicked it away and that's a second yellow. Why are you getting in the ref's ear? Mm. Like, it's the ref's decision, an on-field so, decision hasn't then, been made. Yeah, to then ask for your... And you're influencing his decision. Yeah. Like, so are we letting the ref ref the game? Or are, is assistant VAR chiming in and refing the game? So it's like, so that's a, a quick sidestep. But yeah, I think referees, there was a, a point, I think two years ago, three years ago, where in, in grassroots they were toying with the idea of um, body cams, yeah, stuff. body cams, yeah. refs, and I think in terms of ref safety, great idea. You know, Definitely. you've got to protect referees at the end of the day. Without a ref, there's no game. Like we appreciate that, um, but yeah, I think the issue with my content that the FA took was more so that some of the content was questioning refereeing decisions. I mean, we all do. Yeah, I we mean, do. I, I run a count that basically. Yeah. That's so <laughs> yeah, and it's like although my content might not directly mock referees i've got no control of what happens in the comments yeah and then that stuff i'm quite happy to take it i'm quite happy for people to say what they want about me or whatever it comes it comes with the territory mm. i put myself out on that platform so i expect the backlash but then for a ref who turns up on the weekend and uh you know he's got a normal job some of them school teachers and all of that and then they turn up at school and they're like sir i saw you on this and that and it's like so recently i've tried to keep referees just like out of it as much yeah. as possible because stick it on players instead exactly yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's, it's more fun that way anyway you know <laughs>